Hey, what's up, Titty Ticklers? So what is up and what is good, YouTube, the World Wide Web? As you guys can see in Live HD, it is your host of the most, Paul Cantu. I am finally done with school, at least for this semester. So it is summertime for your boy. I am so happy, so thankful, so grateful. In 2015, the summer 2015 is gonna be an absolute motherfucking massacre. But with that being said, I have a sick ass huge conglomeration of packages, AKA some fan flame from you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to unbox all the awesome dope gear that my Cantu Riding Candy Blue crew has bestowed upon me. I definitely am appreciative. Let's get into it right now. All right, so I got four packages. I'm not even gonna front lie or pretend. This first package I did already open. It's from the homie Steven Corbeau. And uh, this is what he sent me. Ready? Bam! He sent me this really sick NBA Finals 1988 Detroit Pistons shirt right here. This is back when I think they were called the Bad Boys, but Detroit was straight wreck shop in the paint. This is size extra large. I don't know how. I guess in 1988 people were a lot slimmer than they are today. But yeah, man, due to dietary issues, a lot of people have gained weight since then and sizing has gone up. Really sick ass red, white, and blue shirt. Some dope ass silver metallic lettering right there on deck. You gotta love this. Slight distressing to show the 1988 worthy of 27 years of age age. So I'm super happy about having this. It is by Logo7, so the homie definitely hooked it up strong by sending me this piece. And I'm super, once again, appreciative. <laughs> So similarly speaking, we have number 995 in this biatch, and this is from Eric McDade right here. So uh, shout out to you, homie. Let's see what you bestowed me with on this fine ass Thursday night. Oh, oh, I actually traded for this shit. All right, so the first thing homie threw in was this uh, UCF nice basketball right here. All right, dope. But he also threw in this really dope ass Penny motherfucking Hardaway, excuse my vulgarity, Orlando Magic jersey right here. This is size 36, so that's about a size small. Luckily, I'm super scrawny as fuck. What I'm currently wearing is a size 44, which is a large, but I'm so skinny that I can actually fit a size 36. So thank you, Lord, for blessing me with a high metabolism. This thing is just super flamey overall. It has Orlando number one right there. The dope ass champion old school logo right there. Champion logo right there on the upper left breast. On the back it says Hardaway number one right there. I actually just thrifted one of these jerseys for kids, so who knows, I may uh, find a nice chick worthy of wearing the jersey. You can take cute ass matching pictures, walk on the beach, and then once again, like my homie, Bill Billy, I can But the next package is from the homie Marcus Mobley right there. Dude is always in the comment section, straight up wrecking shop. He threw in like a million and one stamps. I'm not sure if that's just for aesthetics or just to show that Batman is like his favorite superhero of all time. Either way, I definitely respect it and I probably am gonna uh, actually put this in a golden frame so uh, let's use an obscure object which is gonna be this weird ass like chip clip metallic status though straight from the Decepticon this thing is meant to destroy packages though so we're gonna go ahead and uh, chop a style this bitch oh man yeah this is uh this is quite ineffective all right Paul science use your brain Paul you guys see this technique YouTube? Look at that, you gotta grip the tape, and then you just fail. We're going to make this happen, I don't give a fuck. This is like how cavemen started fires. Exactly like this. They go in on some Batman stamps, with some chip clips, and that's how they discovered flame. Straight up! All right, oh, I see some flame already. Lord have mercy, mama didn't raise a real thug. Me and my daddy cool, but he showed me tough love. All right, guys, we have gained entry, and this first piece is straight up love flame. Check this out right here. Oh, he left the note too. Wait, hold on, we gonna read this note first. All righty, class. So this is the note from Marcus Mobley. Hey, Paul, just wanted to thank you for making me laugh and also getting into painting shoes. You're welcome. I came across your videos a while ago when my grandma was fighting breast cancer, and your videos helped me stay positive and happy. So thank you and keep it up. Hope you like these pieces. Sorry, no FUBU flame this time. <laughs> Dude, that's really amazing, man. Fuck, I keep each and every one of these notes you guys send me. It got paws on deck, bones on ice, and this thing is cocaine white. Thank you, Marcus. I definitely do appreciate this note. But let's get into the flame right now. So the first piece, of course, is some Dallas Cowboy Fuego, and it is this sick-ass... Denim Dallas Cowboys 
dead stock La Flame. Actually, it just might still have the holographic sticker on it. But this is by Starter. Got it on the back. Leather strap. Check that out. Starter bronze placard right on the back of this bad boy. I've never rocked a denim hat, and this definitely will be the first one. The Cowboys won this Super Bowl, obviously, motherfucker Super Bowl champs. Really sick. Starter the right hat on the interior. Thank you so much, homie. You already know I'm a huge Cowboys fan, and this is some damn denim dynamite. Triple D, baby. What's up with it? So the next shirt the homie sent me is, I don't even know what it is, actually. It says, ba bam Oh! This Olympic Team USA shirt right here with the Olympic rings right there. La Flame. Oh, hell yeah. Then we got this here Jimmy Buffett t-shirt. I'll tie-dye it out. Now, I typically don't listen to old motherfuckers who make music, but I love some tie-dye. This dude straight up blowing out that reefer, though, as you guys can tell by the airplanes right there. He high as hell. Oh, no, you didn't, Marcus. Okay, we got some mother freaking Finding Nemo flame right here. We got three dolphins moving through the sea like a damn crib gang right there. They got some like uh, radioactivity going on in their underbellies. You got Nemo's father, Marlin, or whatever the fuck his name is right there. You got this crab because I got crabs. And you have all these other crazy fishes and bitches in this thing. I definitely really like this. This is going to go really well. Some other aquatic uh, flame I have right there. Thank you so much, Marcus Mobley. This is fire. And then last but not least, he threw in this really dope ass burnt orange shirt. You guys know I go to the University of Texas at Austin. Looks pretty simple on the front, right? Like, there's just a little embellishment on the right, left titty. But check this out. Bam! New year, 2013. Look at all these dudes, like, riding around in their big-ass fucking trucks. There's an old-school plane. There's, like, motorcycles and crazy shit going on everywhere. This is white trash America as fuck, and I love it. I love being some white trash-ass motherfucker. All right, and last but certainly not least, I have some items that I actually purchased from the homeboy Jack Kid Jason, who has sent me some Jordans and other shit before and he had some really dope ass flame on his IG so definitely be sure to check that out you guys link will be in the description but uh fuck man I can't just like bareback rip this bitch but yeah let's get into it and see what's inside this cocaine white envelope damn this whole durable like your sister <laughs> shut the fuck up bitch all right you guys ready for it check this shit out real quick like <laughs> We got a Kroger bag up in here, best grocery store of the year. What do we have inside this bag, you guys may ask? Well, first of all, we have some Aquaberry Fuego right here, and it is this Tommy mother freaking hill figure, three blood red stars, thread count out the ass, size extra large jersey. It has this nice ass silk material, and then you have the purple grape mesh on the side, Aquaberry Flame. Definitely gonna get wear and tear out of this this summer. Thank you so much, sir. And then last but not least, this is the crown jewel probably of this pickup video. I've been looking for one of these for so long. It is this Phoenix Suns number 34 champion size 40 Charles Barkley jersey right here. Now, why did I get this, you guys may ask? Wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, my friends, it's fairly obvious to go with my flame foam posits. I mean, look at this killer combo for the summer. You got the foam posits, the vintage Charles Barkley, the new and old. This sick ass color scheme is gonna be straight breaking next and give me hella bitches. And just to clarify, when I say bitches, I literally mean a dog. I've been looking for a little dog for so long. I want a nice little puppy. I'm gonna name her Buttercup Lily. So uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys have any puppies available. DM me on Instagram. If you find two, you can DM me as well. Send me some nudes and all that good shit. But that's about it. Psych! So thank you guys so much from the top and bottom of my heart for watching once again. It has been your host with the most, Paul Cantu. My Cantu Riding Candy Blue Crew has came through in the clutch with more fire ass fuego flame. And I definitely, definitely am super appreciative, humbled, and love each and every one of you guys. Once again, I'm out of school, so stay tuned, YouTube. Some major, major productions are coming your way really, really soon. Peace and love out there. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Live the dreamy dice cream in peace. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get.